Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Anthony. I'm one of the organizers of the uh, monthly cloud meetup, the Berkeley UC Berkeley cloud meetup. Um, I want to first thank the organizer for this meeting. Uh, that includes uh, Berkeley I IT, uh, the, the, the Division of Computing Data Science and Society, Research IT, Skydeck, LBNL, and several other organizers across campus. Uh, this is our 34th meeting, and we, we have a really cool topic today, a set of topics focusing on uh, Google Cloud Platform. Um, first of all, uh, you know, uh, as a ritual we do, uh, any other announcements of, uh, from various groups on campus? Uh, you know, we, we can spend a minute talking about any exciting news that's been happening at Berkeley and beyond, and I see some folks from other institutions too, so um, I'll open a forum for uh, any announcements. Does anybody have any? Yeah, absolutely. So on your devices, please go to menti.com right here, M-E-N-T-I.com. And when you're there, you will be prompted for a code and it's 37770001. Somebody could drop that in the chat. It's actually gonna be on the next screen as well. We have a few questions for you. And first we would like to know what part of the community you are from. One of the things I really like about this cloud meetup is it's a really nice cross cutting, um, not only across campus, but the other UC campuses and beyond and industry and the Lawrence Berkeley National Lab. So we always like to see who's here. We have quite a few guests. Welcome to our guests. And since we have a fair amount of guests, uh, while these are coming in, I'll just take a moment and introduce myself. Um, I'm Amy and I work in research IT on the UC Berkeley campus. And um, I manage our consulting program. So we consult with researchers about their data and computation needs. So lots of IT staff, community. We've got some students here, some faculty. This is an amazing mix. Welcome everyone. So next question. Google has a dinosaur. Do you know its name? And shout out to Andy for this awesome question. I did not know its name. <laughs> so of course we're talking about Google Cloud Platform today. That's why we're asking about Google. Wow, we have a, quite a split. It seems like a lot of people think it is Alpha, Rex. Andy, would you like to uh, let us know what the answer is? This is my drum roll. <laughs> the answer is Stan. Stan the Stan. dinosaur. And where does Stan live? Where is Stan? Stan is a fixture at the Googleplex. Mm -hmm. Nice. Which is our Mountain View headquarters. Excellent. All right, we have one more question for you, also Google related. So why are Google's undersea fiber cables wrapped in Kevlar-like material? This is an open question. I decided to let y'all get creative. Earthquakes, sharks, wow, lots of shark anchors. Prevent from being cut. <laughs> Vicious mollusks, I love that. That's the one I'm laughing at too. Mm -hmm. Good one. Anchors, I didn't think of that. Weapons, Kraken, yes. <laughs> sea, sea pressure, that's actually a good one. Reduces interference. This is what I was thinking initially, like make it go faster crabs. I was just at the Monterey Bay Aquarium and saw some really gnarly crabs. So this makes sense. All of the above. Okay, so Andy, <laughs> what's the answer? It's not SpongeBob, which is what I just submitted. It's actually sharks. So uh, when we were looking at some performance and, and analyzing the cables, there's some great video footage of sharks uh, for some unknown reason biting into the undersea cables. So uh, <laughs> to address that, they now have uh, Kevlar. Awesome. Thank you. And there was a Thank cool you. video. Oh, okay. Nice. If you want to drop that in the chat, you can check that okay. out. All right. Well, thank you, everyone. Um, back over to you, Anthony. Right. Well, now for our main event, uh, do you want to introduce Andy Vasquez? Uh, he's an account executive for Google, uh, Google Cloud Platforms. 
Uh, Andy has been working with us on various uh, technologies at Berkeley, but other institutions as we will learn. Um, so we'll be seeing two presentations after Andy's initial GCP presentation, one from UCSF and one uh, from Berkeley that I'm uh, very well connected with. Uh, so take it away, Andy. Thank you very much. Again, my name is Andy Velasquez. I'm the account executive uh, for Google Cloud Platform and I lead our higher education practice in Northern California. Um, again, before we get started, I wanna first uh, say a couple thanks. Uh, my first thanks is to the Cloud Meetup team for allowing us to, to participate in this month's session. I know we had a little bit of a false start last time, so I appreciate uh, being given the opportunity to, to present to the group here, um, pretty, pretty good audience. Um, I also wanna thank our speakers um, for their participation and their willingness to tell their story. I'm very grateful for, uh, for everything you're doing for us. So we have, a, a, again, as Anthony mentioned, a pretty packed agenda for you today. So I'll start with a brief overview of GCP and a B Cloud team on campus. I'll do a quick overview of some free programs. Everyone loves free. Um, I'll talk about some of the things we're uh, providing for some of our researchers and some programs that we have available. But uh, the, the stars of the show are going to be our speakers. So uh, as Anthony mentioned, we're gonna have two speakers. Our first one is going to be uh, UC San Francisco and the Orthopedic Institute. And they're gonna discuss how they're leveraging ML and AI to explore ways to improve patient outcomes. Um, the first speaker of that session is going to be Dr. Richard Souza, who is Vice Chair for Research and a professor. Our next uh, is going to be Brooke Schultz, who's a lab manager and a biomechanist. And I hope I said that right, Brooke. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and she's with UCSF Human Performance Center. Um, we're gonna round out that talk with uh, Nicholas Gillian, who's our lead machine learning engineer with Google's Advanced Technology and Projects team, otherwise known as ATAP. Um, after UC San Francisco completes their talk, we'll move over to UC Berkeley's Computing, Data Science, and Society team, and they're going to discuss how they're building data science platforms for all, um, and their speakers are going to be Aaron ba Eric Van Dusen, uh, my fellow banana slug, Anthony Swen, go slugs, and uh, Kazenia Usovic um, are going to be our speakers. So that being said, let's talk about some of the programs we have. So again, anyone that's interested, um, if you would like to get GCP on campus, we have uh, a partnership with the B Cloud team. Um, their website is listed here. I'll share this and it'll be passed along for those that are interested. Uh, but the process is quite simple. You simply fill out a request form for a GCP account. Once that account's provisioned, um, they'll tie it to your chart of accounts. The one caveat is you must be affiliated with UC Berkeley for, for you to have that account. But once it's provisioned, it will also include uh, UC Office of the President negotiated discounts. And if you have any questions on the process, please feel free to reach out to them directly at bcloud at berkeley.edu. That's B like boy, C-L-O-U-D at berkeley.edu. Um, another program that we're, we just recently kicked off with the B Cloud team is a GCP office hours program. If you'd like to learn more about the agenda, topics, et cetera, please, please feel free to join their uh, mailing list and that's listed here as well. Um, that's how to get GCP on campus. Now, if you'd like to get some free training, Google also offers a number of free training programs. So we have some core uh, fundamentals infrastructure classes coming up. There's a, a few other classes in different time zones. These are the next coming up in our time zone. Um, so we have some core infrastructure. If you already have some experience with AWS, we also offer some classes that will help build upon that knowledge. Um, or if you're interested in learning more about big data and machine learning, we have a number of classes that are available. And again, the registration link is, links are all here. Um, I wanna highlight that these classes are remote um, and they're virtual. So you know, you're, you're, very, you're free to attend, you're free to share this with anyone. This isn't just specific to UC Berkeley. If there's any questions, feel free to reach out. Now, we also offer a number of uh, bespoke programs for the, um, that are free, right? So if you're a student, a faculty or staff, we offer programs that'll give you additional training, certifications, credits programs, Etc. cetera. Um, so if you're a student, there's a number of things you can use to help bolster your resume and, uh, you know, help you with your uh, career endeavors. If you're faculty and you're looking to teach with GCP, we also offer a number of support programs, including curriculum support, credits programs to help, help offset costs. And if you're a researcher, we also offer some very specific programs, not only for credits and enablement, but also programs that we partner with our federal agencies. So the National Institutes of Health, National Science Foundation, and we're also hosting for, you know, very, uh, for other researchers, 
um, some curated data sets that you can bring into your research and help get to uh, some outcomes. Um, now, because we are seeing a lot of interest around the NIH program, I wanted to highlight uh, our STRIDES program. Where we're actually offering some very deep discounts based on our relationship at the NIH level. Uh, we have a program to connect you with some of your peers in the NIH program, some training. Uh, if you have any questions on that, please feel free to reach out directly at strides-gcp at google.com.